Hello everybody, so so in the last video, I uploaded a video showing you how to make this incredibly small plane, and before I made this, I had a prototype, which was this, using the spoilers as wings, and I decided today to revisit the concept of this and make a dogfighter using these, using this same design. Um, this dogfighter works pretty well, the only downside is it's pretty slow, and yeah, that's about it. So, I guess, let's get to the build. So, the first thing you want to do is, obviously, open your build tab by pressing B on the keyboard, going into seats, selecting the go-kart seat, and then going into lift and drag, selecting the spoiler, making sure it's facing the right way. Make sure these edges are sloping backwards and the spoilers are upside down. And you put them right there. Copy it over, over to the other side. And then get a propeller. Put it right on the front of the plane. And then select these spoilers, copy them upwards, move them one up, go into frame, select the flat connector so we can connect the, um, the spoilers together. There you go. And for this part, well, actually not yet. You need two propellers, one right there. And then another one right there. And then go into mechanics, get a steering hinge, make sure the green arrow is the one that's upwards going that way, and then copy it over here. And then you're, you're going to need a a glitch controller or a glitch logic gate for this part which I'll leave a link to in the description so you can download it but once you download that you can just put it right on the end of those two hinges and then go back into blocks go into lift and drag select the small powered tail fin and do that right there Copy it over to the other side, copy it up, flip it in this orientation, then put it up here, and then copy it onto that side. And now, time for the guns. So go into tubes, select the tube elbow, put them right here. And then copy it right there. And then go into logic. Get a distance sensor. Put it right behind those tube elbows. You'll see why we'll need that later. And then go back into tubes. And select the tube elbow again. And put these tube elbows all along the back connectors of this spoiler piece. Like that. And then select all of those, and copy them to the other side. And then, for the guns, go into Gadgets, select the Tiny Cannon, and put them at the edges of all of these little pipe pieces. And then the next part is, for the guns, hold Control and double click one of the guns, and it should select all of them. Then click configure, and get rid of get rid of the um, input. Press the X that says press the clear input, and then go over to the glitched logic gate with the left mouse button binded to it, and oops, then um. Then, you know, 
select all of these. I don't know what I'm trying to say. I did that again. Select all of these tiny cannons. And then there's the basics of it done. But now, for the logic part, you want to select this tiny cannon to the left, the left bottom tiny cannon, and then um, keep the delay at zero, and then set the delay on this right bottom cannon to 0 0.05, and then on this left side, this cannon at the top, closest to the seat, set the delay to 0.1, then set this one to a delay of 0.2, set this one to a delay of 0.3, and set this one to a delay of 0.4. And then on this side, set the one closest to the seat on a delay of 0.15, and then this one to a delay of 0.25, and then this one to a delay of 0.35, and then set this one to a delay of 0.45. And then that's all the gun set up. And to make this thing go a little bit faster, we're going to do a little bit of zero drag glitching. So now what you need to do is Go into frame, get these um, 2x4 blocks, put them right there, and right there, and then get another 2x4 block, put it right there, and then put another one right there, get another 2x4 block, and put them right there, but actually that's not going to work, I just realized. You get a 1x4 block, and then a, and then you go into dy aerodynamics, you get a wedge, uh, a wedge 1x4, copy it like this, and put it like that. And then copy this over to the other side. Make sure that that wedge is not connected to that, and then get another 2x4, flip it over so it's like this, cover that part of the um, propeller, then get a 1x4, put it like that, and then Go into um, mechanic, go and get a detachable block. Put one detachable block on each side. You don't have to do that, but I tend to anyways. Get a 1x2 block and put it right there. And then do the same thing right there, and then there, and there. And then select the distance sensor that we put here earlier. Select conf configure, and then click these two detachable blocks. And oh yeah, you also have to set these detachable blocks to make scrap. Forgot about that. And there you go. You now have a pretty small but effective dogfighter and you can see it take off real quick oh uh there is one thing i did forget to do these i did forget to set these up so um on the green one Set that control to S, and on the red, set it to W. And make sure that steering help is at zero. And you can leave an uh, angle at 30, 
and turn the speed up to 2. It will do that, but once you stabilize it out, it should fly pretty good. The roll is completely seat controlled, so that might be a little bit of a problem. And if you want to, if you want to make the pitch a little bit less twitchy, you can set the steering help up to a to at least 50, but you can also set it to 100, and I found that works pretty well, and yeah, it's pretty easy to aim, like I said, it's kind of slow, the max speed I got it to was 300 kph, around 300 kph, um, and yeah, you can go in for a landing, and there you go. That's how to make an incredibly small, but very effective dogfighter in Trout Curse. Goodbye.